Like, I, I never planned none of this. Like, it's not no blueprint other than Wale. It's not mm. no blueprint. If you, and Wale is his own person. So if you ain't him coming from BC, then shit, you got to make your own blueprint. And that was a, I looked at that shit as like, oh, yeah. This and, give me an opportunity to. And y'all was tight. We all tight. Y'all, y'all tight. Yeah. Can sure. we talk about that for a second? Hell yeah. So, pardon the ignorance. Yeah. Because again, I'm from Baltimore, so I don't really know too much of the DC culture. Okay. Okay. What I do. So if I do say something, you can correct me. We men. You know what for I'm saying? Sure. We men. So. All right. But uh, I'm just, I'm just giving you that open door. For sure. But um, so from the outside looking in, I'm gonna tell you how I feel. I feel like Wale is like the DMV. Like he put. All of us on, to be honest. Like he 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 brought the, the spotlight to the DMV. Big but I facts. I feel like the DMV always trying to take credit away from him. Hell yeah, I feel like it's like that thing when you first though, it's the hardest. Like when you the first person to really break out to that level, it's gonna be so much pushback. Like what the fuck can you really do? Like it's like you can't pray for peace without. If you pray for peace, you basically asking for for war. Mm. The way I look at it, because you can't have one without the other. So, like, what can he do? Like, you gotta accept it how it come. When motherfuckers can't do, they gonna talk about it. When they they gonna judge you if you do do shit. So it's like you gonna be right, you gonna be wrong. You can't please everybody. So, shit, you just gotta lock in and focus on yourself. That's I mean, what can you expect somebody to do? But again, right, just from outside looking in, it looks like in. The other guys I'm about to name, they're still dope and respect, but it's like they take so much away from him, prop up the other guys, but it's like they leave him out. Like, for example, like Sha Glizzy, um, of course, Fat Trill. Like, niggas put on for them. Yeah. But it's like, it's almost like, and as a disservice to Wale, like, why can't niggas put on for all of them? What you mean? Like, like, it, like it, it, niggas, it, it, like the streets put on for them or like the people? Like, but even that, it's just, it's just like, it's like Wale is kind of the black sheep. It's like, yeah, Wale, he from here, but but then niggas like Glizzy and, and Fat Trills, like they go hard for them, but they don't go as hard for Wale. Nah, I don't think don't it's think so? like that. I, I think it's it's a, it's a stigma probably. It's like it's a maybe it's the cool thing to say at this time or that time, but you can't feel like that about bro because he do so much to look out. If it like everybody that you just <laughs> named, if it wasn't for bro. They time would be a whole lot harder. Not saying they would have never made it because everybody got their destiny, but it's documented at the times when it really mattered. Bro looked out for niggas. He looked out for me. He looked out for Shy. He looked out for Trail. Shit, if you feel like it ain't good enough or it ain't, that's on you. But bro did what he' supposed to do, and he consistently does it. And I'm not just he off no type of. Like, I'm just going, whatever he do is right. Nah, he would. I saw this man with my own eyes try to look out for thousands and thousands of people. You know what I'm saying? That's more than a lot of people have done with the opportunity. So, I don't know. I just think it's a bad stigma. Or it's cool to say because motherfuckers trying to get over top of that. You know what I'm saying? But to do that, you got to sell as many records as that man did. You got to go number one as many times as that man did. Otherwise, what we talking about? The numbers don't lie. So you can say what the fuck you want to say. The numbers don't lie. The global effect don't lie. You know what I'm saying? This like, true. I don't know. And so I don't. Do you think it's because, so not saying that the, I don't think, I'm not saying that the artists do this, but do you think it's just the, the, the people who have, they lack the knowledge, so they don't understand, they don't know? Or so they, they just hate us. Like, because the common person, that's who the guy is. Wale, for the common person. Right. Everybody is not. A street nigga or this or that, like what you? What's the goal? The goal is to get out get and go as out. big as you could go. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't why the fuck y'all trying to pull this man back, man? Let that man go on and then shit. Follow the footsteps. Figure out what you can learn because you can learn something from anybody. If you could learn from a crackhead on the street, what not to do? You mean to tell me you can't look at this man and figure out a thing or two to do? You can't figure out one thing to do. Like, come on, man. That nigga ain't, man. It's just, do you think he, he paid, because y'all close, do you think he paid too much attention to the streets? Because, like, it's like he be having, his, he know what the fuck niggas is talking about. Like, shit, he, do you <laughs> see, like, this big on the map? A nigga say, say, yo, over here, it's going to echo for the whole city. So you're going to know. I think the hardest thing is kind of, like, not paying that shit no attention because you're going to hear it, like, one way or the other. And you might feel a way. You might not, you know, but it just depends. But when you've been active outside for so long, I, you talking, what's going on? I'm everywhere. I'm active. I'm, like, 
ain't nothing happening to that man. So the opinions, like you can't lose lose sleep over niggas' opinions, you know? No, nah, and that's what I'm saying. Sometimes it feels like uh, niggas gonna boost their opinion up just to be just to have something to say. But like if you if you man, come on, man, if you ain't showing love, you just a hater. Cause nah, facts. I don't, it, it, it just seems like, cause he, it seems like he be passionate. Like I think yeah, he I is think, passionate. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like the only thing, if I had something negative to say, right, it yeah. would just be like he got his ears to the streets too much. Like sometimes it'd be like ignore these niggas. Like that's the only yeah. thing I could say. Cause For he sure. he gonna let niggas know like nah, like niggas need to respect me. But yeah. it's like bro. But that's what I feel like. It ain't need. I guess to your point, basically it's not worth it. Cause what what do you get from exactly. it? Exactly. But. You only human, and when you so connected to the city, it is gonna make you feel a type of way when motherfuckers that you know you support and fuck with, and and my, you see them in the comments saying some hating shit or some weird shit. It's like, well, damn, what's up with y'all? You know what I'm saying? And either you internalize it, and you put it all in the music, or you talk about it some or whatever. But nigga got when you he came in. Look at who he came in the game with: Kendrick, Drake, Cole. The f- you niggas lucky he even having that conversation with y'all nah, sometimes because come on man like that's but that's why i say i be feeling like sometimes it it does him a disservice because yeah he, for sure he, he's i think niggas be sleep because they so they think they so close to him because he's from dc yeah because like he's a superstar for like sure. he's really and that's like, what niggas need to understand it's a difference <laughs> between a star and a superstar. Like he's like my a, man, a superstar, right? So, but that's why I said I think sometimes it does him a disservice his, pa- his passion behind it. Yeah, it's for like, sure, bro. You don't need to be explaining yourself. Like, fuck these niggas. Yeah, don't explain yourself. Yeah, to just just keep going. <laughs> just go to the top to the top of the mountain. And fuck whoever said what. Like, fuck him. I don't hear him. I don't see him. I seen um because I I think I, I seen one time he was on like uh, uh what is it called Clubhouse and shit. And oh yeah. Like, like me, I'm looking at it like, cause I like I'm I'm going, I'm trying to be a star, but I'm looking at it like, damn, this nigga is really like he don't have to be here. Yeah, he just joined a club, he, yeah. a, a clubhouse chat. Do niggas not appreciate that? <laughs> like, do niggas not appreciate that? But you saying like it's like, why would you waste your time doing it? Both. That's what you saying. No, both. Both. So like, part of me is like the the artist in me. Like I'm not an artist, but like the talent in me is like, yo, that's dope. Right. Ain't nobody doing that. Right. But another of me is like, why are you doing that? Because they not going to appreciate it, bro. Yeah. I mean, if you got to look at all the other motherfuckers on Clubhouse just telling all they business, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you got this shit going down. If you if you done tuned in lately, like, it's wild on that, man. You know, Niggas right. explaining themselves to absolutely nobody, you know? So if you got a room full of all your peers and homies, you want to check in and see, like, what's what? Like, let me stop through. Like, man, trust and believe. More people do shit like that than... We are led to believe it's just mm. because it's so small, everything's so impactful, everything is blown up way bigger than it gotta be. If Snoop Dogg go in the West Coast room right now and just whatever they, man, it ain't gonna be that much of a big deal, you okay. know. So it, uh, I mean, you're right because I think even uh, Roddy Rich had checked in. Yeah, yeah. Now like, that <laughs> you could, <laughs> but I, <laughs> I'm gonna say he probably could have. Now that somebody could have skipped over that conversation. You know what I'm saying? But they both superstars though. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like, no dick here, bro. The nigga, I think when they was on Dream Chasers, like niggas, the the niggas like Meek Mill. But if you gonna be real, I think while they was the only one that was doing gold, like he was the only one doing real industry numbers. Yeah, he talking about like MMG. Yeah, yeah. MMG. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. When he was doing, I said Dream Chasers. When he was, <laughs> <laughs> when, he, when he was with MMG, he was yeah. really the only one like selling those big time numbers. So like, yeah. he's a superstar too. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Damn, bro, that's crazy, man. Yeah, man. Love, my God, man. From a place, we gotta go hard on the paint where we from, man.